Hey guys, how's it going? John here from nkmesh.com with another tutorial on Thrivecart to help you sell more easier online. I had a question from one of my subscribers and former clients who used Thrivecart based on my recommendation and started out with digital products, selling eBooks and printables and courses and things like that. And when she moved into the physical realm of selling her own little handmade goods, things got a little bit trickier for you. So I want to make sure that I cover that side as well. Um, I've made online e-commerce stores for my daughter to sell little tchotchkes and things like that, but I've never actually used Thrivecart for physical products, but I will show you in this video four different ways of setting it up for whatever is right for you. Okay, let's go ahead and dive in. But before we do anything, I have to make sure you guys all see this animation. There it goes. Oh yeah, <laughs> spent a lot of time on that. Okay, I'm glad I'm doing well with my life here. All right, so what we're gonna cover in this video is four methods of integrating uh, Thrivecart in with some form of physical fulfillment. So whether you are selling uh, clothing, or if you're selling books, or if you're selling crafts, anything like that, uh, there something will work for you in this list. And there's, I'll talk about each option individually. So method one is going to be integration with a fulfillment service like Shopify. Method number two is using print on demand services. And I'll show you some options on all of these. Method number three is going to be on integration with a fulfillment service, an overall generic fulfillment service, and I'll make a recommendation for you as well. And method number four is using a custom fulfillment method. If you want to take things all in-house, manage your inventory, do things kind of low key and low cost, I've got an option for you here as well. Okay, so let's talk about each one individually. Method number one is integration with Shopify. So first and foremost, why would you do this? Why would you have Thrivecart and Shopify working in the same system. Well, this gives you a lot of flexibility. Uh, you've got the powerhouse of Shopify, which is a huge, huge company, and many e-commerce brands run on Shopify, but Shopify natively isn't the best for creating sales funnels, for having those upsells, those downsells, the bumps. You're adding on a lot of different um, packages and plugins and different tools inside the Shopify ecosystem just to come close with what you could do with a Thrivecart, and you may as well just go and use something that's made for that. But if you wanna have the flexibility of having an e-commerce store for most of your product, most of your SKUs, but then have some of them focused in as a funnel, this would be a great option for you. So how could you set this up? They do have a direct integration in with Thrivecart, so I'll bounce out of the slides. So this is shopify.com. I'm not an affiliate for uh, Shopify. I'm more of a WooCommerce guy myself if I'm going to be doing um, you know, that big old e-commerce uh, storefront type of project uh, because I know Woo, I, li I like WordPress, but not many people do. I know I'm a little bit weird on that. Uh, so if you would rather have something like a Shopify, 30 bucks a month can get you started and can give you what you need and all this stuff. All right, so how you would set that up inside of Thrivecart, you can simply come into your settings, go into your integrations, and underneath fulfillment services. So as we come into the fulfillment services area, you can see the options of what we have here. We'll talk about a couple of these different options here. Now the Shopify integration was the go-to. If you click on integrate now, you'll actually see a little message here that shows that Shopify made some changes and this is the world of online marketing. You have to just kind of roll with the punches. Basically Shopify is not connecting with things nicely anymore. So you can still achieve what you want using something like a Zapier, which is a little bit out of the scope of this video. Uh, but you could connect in using webhooks and Zapiers and integrate leads and these types of tools, which I have plenty of videos on. I'll try to link down below some of my videos on how to integrate platforms together. Okay. But still Shopify is a solid option. It's still one of the best, best ones in the business for doing physical product sales and all that. But unfortunately their integration here is kind of not what we want it to be. All right, let's move on to the next one here. So that's Shopify. Method number two is a print on demand. So if you are selling books, like um, you know, free plus shipping type of book offers, this is gonna be a really off awesome option for you. Why would you do this? So this way you could, for, for example, maybe sell an ebook for $5, but then also ship them a copy if they check the checkbox on the, the checkout form to do a you know digital plus physical product all in the same checkout. And what's also great about print on demand specifically is you don't have to worry about the inventory management side. Uh, that's kind of taken care of because they print it on demand. They get an order, they print the order, they ship the order. It's a beautiful thing. Keeps your garage clear of all the boxes and makes life a little bit easier. Now also this is directly connected in, in Thrivecart and I'll show you how this works. It uses a tool called Vervante. Uh, that's going to be the one that I overall recommend. I've used it personally and uh, they're pretty helpful to kind of work through any issues with you 
uh, because basically you can do a lot of things with Vervante. So let's, let's go ahead and just check them out real fast. I'll go to Vervante Fulfillment. And basically what this place is, is a couple of things. They've got the ability to do print on demand where you can kind of get some samples, test your book out, send them a file. They'll print out different options for you. And then they can, when they receive an order from Thrivecart, which I'll show you how that works, they can automatically print and ship that book for you. Okay, so that's on the book side and we'll cover their other product fulfillment options in the next bit. So what you would do here is in Thrivecart, we'll go ahead here and look at Vervante. And right now I've already integrated it. It's basically just a checkbox. So let me show you how that works. You just say enable Vervante integration and it's enabled. Ta -da. So as you're going through the process in Vervante, you're going to be setting up your own SKUs, your own product numbers. So let's say you have a book to sell. If I come in here and I've gone through the Vervante process and you can read on their website how that whole process works. It takes about a week or two to kind of get your book up and ready and working and samples and everything figured out. Once that's done though, you can come in here and let's say I'm making a physical product. I'll go ahead and create a new physical product here. Let's say we want to sell our book. I'll choose physical, create the product, and then I'll call this uh, print on demand. I'll select an owner, come on through pricing. Let's just give it a simple $17 price. And now we get into the physical aspect of it all. Let's put a payment processor down here. All right, now shipping options. Because it's a physical product, we're gonna have a fulfillment section. So we'll add the shipping information and we'll call this uh, flat rate shipping. Now for fulfillment provider, if you are going to be the one um, shipping all the stuff, which I'll show you in the last option, um, you can choose manual shipping, but here we're gonna use Vervante. And that takes away some of your options because things like weight and dimensions and all that kind of stuff are all handled when you're setting up your product and your fulfillment with Vervante. So once you've done that, you'll simply need to say, okay, I'm gonna charge them, let's say $12 to ship it, you pick whatever makes sense for you. You'll you'll talk with Vervante to get the pricing based on how big your book is and all that stuff. Okay, so you'll set up your flat rate shipping, done, and you can allow it for specific quantities, specific options, a lot of options here. All right, now here's kind of the important part. This is where the integration comes in. When you are working with Vervante and setting up your product, you'll have your catalog, you'll have your own login, you get quotes, do all this stuff. Eventually, you're gonna have your own products and your own inventory if you're using that option. Um, there and every product is going to have its own product ID. All you have to do, paste in that product ID for the one that is related to this, you know, Thrivecart funnel we're building. And then as soon as the sale is made, that information is going to get pushed over to Vervante. They're going to receive it automatically, start the printing process and fulfill all for you. All right, so that's a beautiful thing. And it saves you the, the need to have inventory headaches and all of that stuff. All right, and that will work. And you'll still be able to do your invoice, send them to special URLs if you'd like, or and put your email down there. All right, let me just go ahead and build out this product here because we're gonna do another test in the next section as well. And we'll just do a standard cart. Forget the design. All right. So that's option number two, uh, sending it with Vervante. Let's go into number three. So general fulfillment, what does this mean? Basically, if you wanna automate the fulfillment of any product and manage and monitor your inventory, Thrivecart doesn't have its own inbuilt inventory management system. And that's honestly just because it's not the focus of the software. The, its job is to be really good at converting people from buying your initial product to taking your bumps and your upsells and your downsells. So it's not trying to dabble in to be an all-in-one, all right? So you will rely on some other platform like a Shopify, like a Vervante, and I'll show you how that works as well. And in this example, I'm gonna go ahead and just try to show as few platforms as possible to you. So since we're already here on Vervante, they do have the ability for services for general fulfillment. So let's say, for example, you're not doing a book, you're doing a birdhouse or something, I don't know. Uh, something that you have to make and build and do all this stuff. So figure that out, right? Are you making it by yourself? Are you getting it made in China? But then you can have that it's sent into warehouses at Vervante and then the exact same integration process can occur where they will fulfill the orders whenever that part number is purchased using the exact same process we just made. The big difference between this step and the previous step is Vervante is actually creating the product for you. They're actually printing the book and shipping it for you. Whereas with the general fulfillment, the product is made somehow, some way, somehow, someplace, and it gets shipped into Vervante and they'll manage your inventory for you, let you know when you're low, 
do all that stuff, as well as fulfill for you when the orders come in through Thriveheart. All right, that's step number three. Last one here on a roll is custom fulfillment. So if you are like a small town thing and you don't want to have a fulfillment service and deal with all that, or for example, we made little felt roses, little handcraft for my five-year-old daughter at the time to learn about business, um, you might not want to go through all this muss and fuss of setting up a tool like Vervante. You're, you're probably fine with shipping it out yourself. All right, so in this case, I'll show you how we can set up a direct integration with Google Sheets so that when a sale is made in Thrivecart, a new row is added to a Google spreadsheet and you can then manage your inventory all on your own and kind of keep track. Okay, I need to make more roses. You make a few more, add it to your inventory in Google Sheets and you can kind of manage it all on your own, okay? This is again, probably as you get bigger and you wanna scale and have more and, and cleaner process, this is probably not the best thing for you. Uh, but when you're just getting started and you don't want to go through the process of a fulfillment center, uh, this can work for you. All right, so let's go ahead and check this out. So inside the integrations as well of Thrivecart, I can come in and it's interesting they decide to put Google Sheets underneath the fulfillment services. So this is what they're intending you to do. So I've already linked up my account, but you can just go here and log in with your Google Sheet. And if I come into my products, so here's a print-on-demand product, I'm going to switch this around a little bit and we'll call this birdhouse, birdhouses. Now I'm gonna bounce over to my behaviors tab up here because the Google Sheet integration, this is how this all works. So when they buy the product, we are going to go to Google Sheets and we're gonna add them to either, I've already made like an example for one, but I'll, we'll make a new one here. We'll make a new spreadsheet and call this birdhouse sales and save. And now you have to read carefully because I screwed this up. This says down here, exclude the following from the spreadsheet. Do you want to exclude personal information or shipping information or pricing information? No, because we need all that for handling the fulfillment, but different businesses would need different things. All right, so I'll include all the information and hit save. And we'll go and save and get URL. Now, when I go to purchase, again, I've done no design work on this, but it's going to give me that physical product um, three-step checkout process. So I'm gonna just take myself off the screen while I fill this in with um, fake information. I'll put a fake email address in, put in fake address there. All right, so now that I've put in the fake address, I can show you. So uh, step two, step one was just putting in my email address. Step two is a shipping information. So where do you wanna send the product? It also shows you how the, the shipping is, is shown here and it shows also your total payment is $17 for the birdhouse plus $12 for the shipping. So my total is 29. And if I hit continue one more time, it'll ask for payment and I'll just put in the test payment ID and complete the order. All right, so the order was just made and let's go check out what this would look like inside of Google. So I'll come here to my Google account and I can see it created a brand new spreadsheet for me automatically called birdhouse sales. If I click into that, I should see There it goes, whew, worried about that one. So it all popped up and I've got the event, the item name, everything here, as well as a ton of information about how it was purchased. So let's just kind of review what you get with this option. So you can see I purchased birdhouses for $17 on a certain date and time with a certain email address, IP address, um, pricing, quantity, because you can allow multiple quantities as well for physical products, uh, how they bought, shipping provider. So it shows here that I had the integration set up with Vervante from the previous uh, tutorial, but you would set this up as a custom or manual fulfillment and it gives you all the information you would need. So then you could set up, you know, you can get creative with it, set up another spreadsheet that shows all your inventory and update it, all this cool stuff. All right. So because even if you use Shopify or WooCommerce or anything like that, you're still going to be in that world of making more widgets and updating your inventory to manage the number of widgets you have. So you're gonna have that inventory management system some way, somehow. All right, so just to recap, we we just covered four different ways that you can set up product fulfillment options using Thrivecart um, without having to do anything too crazy. I don't think anything there was out of the ordinary and it's pretty easy to follow along. If this was helpful, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate it. Uh, it helps me grow and get in front of more people like you and provide more helpful content. If you have any questions about what we just covered today, leave the comment down below. I'm happy to do a follow-up to make sure you guys get the most out of the tools you use online to sell more, more easily. 
I'm John from Incomesh.com. Thanks so much and have a great day.